Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Cuts. I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're going to be showing you how to load and cut adhesive vinyl in your Vinyl Master software. The vinyl we're using today is the Caesar Easy PSV Removable and the cutter that I'm using is the Prism Cut P28. I'm going to cut a single simple design and let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in Vinyl Master with our vectorized design. And if you don't know how to vectorize your image, you can look at an earlier video that we did in the Quick Cut series uh, that'll show you. But before I start cutting, I need to make sure that I load the vinyl cutter and everything's lined up properly. The vinyl cutters that we sell here at uscutter.com use the pinch roller system. The rollers on top will essentially clamp down on the rollers on the bottom. The bottom roller has a textured surface or grit that helps hold down your materials in place because the bottom roller is the one that moves it forward and backwards. Most vinyl cutters will have a little indicator up top telling you where the grit on the bottom of the pinch roller is. You'll need to line up your pinch rollers with it exactly on that spot. Here's an example of what it looks like on our prism cut. And then our laser point three. If you have the MH or SC2 vinyl cutter, then you have two bars and the grit is gonna be going across them the entire way, except for in this little spot in the middle that you have a little marker that shows you the center where it's not at. You always want to make sure that your pinch rollers are 100% on the grit. Even if they're off a little bit, they can cause some errors when you're cutting. So make sure that you have those straight. Once you have everything lined up, you want to clamp the pinch rollers down and just run the roll or sheet backwards and forwards a bit past your cutting job to see how straight it is and make sure it's within your margin of error. And finally, you want to perform a test cut to make sure that you can weed out your test pattern with ease because if you don't, then you're gonna cut it and then realize that you're gonna have some issues. Either it cut too far into the backer or it didn't even cut at all and you can't weed it. Now it's time to go back into Vinyl Master. I'm gonna make sure that I have everything I want to cut selected and then I'm gonna go up to the blade holder in the upper toolbar and select Send to Cutter. And that's gonna bring up the Send to be Cut window. And we're just cutting adhesive vinyl on a sign so I don't need to mirror it or anything like that. But I do want to show you that even though I had two separate colors on there, I can cut it at the same time in a single cut by just making sure that this separate by color box is unmarked. Then I click cut now to send the job to my cutter. And this is going to bring up our old friend, the vinyl spooler, which if you ever need to access a spooler, you can launch it through the launch pad here in every single version of Vinyl Master. And then once it loads up the vinyl spooler, it's going to say, sure, you want to send the job to the cutter? And I will. Let me change the LED color to make it look a little cooler. And then after we cut, it's time to weed. I'm gonna weed away all of the unused material with my fancy Caesar weeding pick. If you don't have a weeding tool yet, I highly suggest that you get this one, especially if you have larger hands like mine. It's just smaller ones will hurt my hands and cause it to cramp. Once we're done weeding, it's time to apply the transfer tape over the top of our design, making sure we squeegee it down nice and hard and then peel it off the backer and apply it to our surface. I will be showing how to apply transfer tape as well as applying a decal in full detail in later videos, so make sure you subscribe to those to gain access to that. Have yourself a wonderful day and thank you again for watching this.